All right, you guys know how it is. They passed all bands. So we pick Ymir. And they're going Neath. Now, Neath, I, I don't think of Neath as one of the gods that you skip all bands to pick. Uh, but they, eh, I don't know. They pick Neath. I don't think Neath actually gets banned much at all. Like, I, I cannot remember the last time Neath was banned. But oh well. Okay, so we're going to go a nice Gilded Arrow into, you guessed it, Bancroft. I could also go Spear of the Magus, um, but I think against Neath, I need that Lifesteal. And Blink slash Beat slash Aegis is going to be good against Neath. I don't know how good she is. If it's a good Neath, like a really good Neath, then I think Beads is better to prevent the whole alt one combo, which can kill me at like half HP with auto attack cancels. Um, if it's a bad Neath, I think Blink is best because you can, when then they use their backflip, you can just blink after them and then they're dead. But it all depends. Looks like they're starting at blue buff. Maybe they're starting at my blue buff. I don't know. Why skip all bands to pick Neath though? You're going to be able to pick Neath anyways. I just always see skipping bands as kind of overconfidence. It's either A, overconfidence, or you're trying to play a specific character that's top tier for a specific reason. And that reason could be either to just, you know, try and farm a win. Or you're just, you just need to play them for XYZ reason, which is fine. Looks like she started her blue buff. She has... <laughs> Where's your health? Where's your health bar? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Where's your health bar, though? There's no way you took that much damage fighting minions. Oh, I would have chased that if I had mana. Oh, I would have chased that so hard. I mean, beats for Blink is always worth because Blink is a slightly shorter cooldown. It's just better for my opponent, or for me, if I know my opponent's easier down because then i can make plays without any surprises all right let's recall we just don't have any mana and yep the meme is i always build bancrofts on like every guardian but it's just because bancrofts is such a good item man there's not really any good other starting like builds for guardians too much like yeah you could go spear with magus or you could go you could try book of those but it's just not as good as bancrofts on guardians because they they need that power. They need that life still. Unfortunately, I can't block her ability. I can block her autos. I think she's going to backflip. What I do sometimes is instead of using my three, I'll auto attack. And they see Ymir start to move. So then they're like, oh, he's using his freeze. And they use their escape. That way I can just come in here. She's going to root me though. Yeah, I'm right on top of this weave, which is rather unfortunate. Oh, I thought your thing was still down. I should be fine. Alright, that's fine. But yeah, you, you auto attack to make it look like Ymir is using an ability and then they use their escape. It works quite often. It, it, should, it should not work as often as it does. I'll take these since they're spawning. No reason not to. I guess I might miss a little bit of the wave if I do, but oh well. Ah, well, now I might as well clear this wave so I can get Bancrofts. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to be 100 gold off, and that's going to be a lame. Plus, now I won't miss the minions. I do miss Red Buff, though. Like, it's it's a little too risky to stay for Red Buff when she has full mana, and I don't have much mana at all. Maybe I should try a Book of Thoth build, though. Bancrofts gives a lot of mana. Gives, uh, what, 150 mana? That's like, what's that, an extra 14 power with fully stacked Book of Thoth? 13, 13, 14 power. This gives 9% mana. Okay, she might get this, but she's in a bad spot. I could have tried to steal that. Can I get your backflip? Backflip? Okay. <laughs> You know, I mind game myself there. If I'm being completely honest, I mind game myself. Obviously, it's not good to try and auto attack a hunter like that.
You have your ult? Yeah, you do. Some kill. Oh god, I want to kill her so bad. I want to kill her so bad. But I need to get her back flip. Okay, there it is. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Go over here. No. Ah, uh, what am I doing, man? I had that. I, I blinked over her one and I missed the freeze. I need breastplate. Tempted to go a weird Book of the Dead build, perhaps. But I do have a lot of mana items. That's rather unfortunate. She's a level ahead of me. Oh, you know what? I don't think I've seen it, but she might be going a Bumba's Hammer or a Neath build. That could be weird. Could work, though. I, I could uh, definitely see it work if you know your, your auto attacks and stuff. Unfortunately, I don't know if the Neath knows this, but if she backflips, she goes through my wall. It doesn't actually stop her. Dead. Oh my god. Okay, well, that's fair. I made a mistake last fight, you made a mistake this fight. I mean, okay. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, we should we should recall though. I'm not gonna get that much damage. Uh we'll wait for the fifty gold. I guess since I was gonna wait for the gold, I could have autoed the tower a few times. But I didn't really think about it too much. Yotun's Wrath? Okay, now I don't think she's going Bumba's Hammer, because why would you get so much cooldown? I mean, you could always sell it, but Yotun's? You could have went, like, Genji. i do that to clear the wave, group up the minions a little bit more. Oh, sucks that that root still hits me. She's in a weird spot, though. I'm probably gonna get a toxic blade so I get a tiny bit of movement speed. Because if I had movement speed there, I would have been able to get a lot of damage. Okay, cool. Yep. The acceptance. Could actually go for Demon King. Like, Ymir can take it pretty easily. I, I could go for Demon King now. Um, of course, she can try to steal it. We'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll keep it on my radar. Oh, she saw me. I don't know if she had a ward or if she was just waiting behind that wall. I was kind of waiting for this buff. Going Brawlers? All right, let's recall. Screw it. I've been saying it all game that I might. Maybe. Let's do it. Let's go Book of Thoth. Uh, I'm gonna, also going to get Beads. Aegis is good against Neath, but I think Beads is better. Because if you get hit by the ultimate, you can at least Beads it and then dodge the one. Whereas if you go Aegis, you, get, you still get stunned by the ult. And then you get hit by the one. And then the real damage from the combo comes from getting hit by the one with the f guaranteed four auto attacks or whatever now it also means if i'm getting away at low hp she, she can just kill me straight up nice that she didn't back flip i'll be able to kill here 
Oh, okay, we need to get out before she stuns me. Oh my god. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know these cooldowns at all for her backflip. I keep thinking it's longer than it actually is. Plus, she has 30% cooldown, so that's probably why. If she were smart, she would be hitting me with the root whenever I use my two because I literally can't move. Okay, I can just blink kill her. Nice. All right, let's take tower. That way we can get Demon King. Because actually going for Demon King while tower's up is just dumb. Kind of a waste at this point in the game. Unless you're like rushing Demon King, and that's good, I suppose. But don't really want to do that. I could take this, right? Yeah. Yeah, I could take this. I don't know when I switched to instant casting on Ymir. That took a while. I actually don't recommend instant casting on his 2 or his 3. Not when you're starting out playing him. It's good to like know if you have the minions lined up and stuff. Okay, cool. Let's get your backflip. I'm in a terrible spot right now. Took way too much damage. I don't know what I do here because she's... I need to clear the mid wave. I die here almost guaranteed. Oh. No, and let, hey, if she lets me get away, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't care. Take the tower. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Yeah, take the tower. You could have killed me and taken the tower, but hey, whatever. That's good for me. Yeah, I took too much damage there. That was the problem. Like, getting her backflip in this area is great because I can just wall off any way she goes. But if I take too much damage, I can't chase because, again, I opted for the beads instead of Aegis. Aegis. However you want to say it. I missed some minions. Whoops. We just need to get the stacks on Book of Thoth at this point. Alright, let's, let's try and get some damage here. Okay, this is good for me. Let's see if I can get a nice wall. Get near her. Okay, that's her Aegis. I should leave. These are beads. Again, I always say this whenever I play Ymir. If you miss the freeze, like, out of range of it, just throw your two out right away. Because almost, like, I, I would say 90% of the time, your opponent goes, Oh, look, he missed the freeze. And now is my chance to pounce. And they walk forward into the two. Like, seriously, it happens so often. Oh, my Q ult me? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we need to get her escape, and then I can blink on her. Like, this is the best chance to do that. And if she recalls, then I go for Demon King. I just need to do something here. Alright, I don't have wards. I, You guys know me, I always love getting wards in duel. Um, so, this is kind of unfortunate. But, let's see. I, I do have my ult for secure. Her ultimate's down. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I actually should have used the two first. Yeah, I'm going to secure it with my ult just because. Just because my ult's kind of short cooldown and better to, you know, if she steals that, it actually affects the game so much. Oh, she's behind me. Thought she was in front of me. Use your back foot. Okay. And now her phoenix is down. This is the same thing that happened last time. The well, last time her phoenix was up. Okay, there's her back foot. Good. I blink. Oh, 
Oh my god, why'd I cancel the... <laughs> oh, I got body blocked by the minions. Okay, whatever. Ah, shouldn't have canceled my one there. I thought she was already around it. She wasn't quite. Oh, that was kind of bad. Yeah, that was very bad of her. Yeah, in this in this matchup as Neath, you have to save up backflip for pretty much everything. You can't can't be using it like that. And here especially because again, I could just wall off the Phoenix so easily, and then you can't go around. By the time the root's over, I'm already there. Depends on the spots on the map. This matchup is kind of interesting. I've fought some really good Neaths, some average Neaths, and I, I, it's hard to say. I've lost to really, really good Neaths. I've also beaten some good Neaths too, though. There's just a lot to the matchup. It's weird. It's weird. Like, especially having beads up for the crucial moments, super good. Like right now, she's not backflipping. A brand new Neath would backflip there. And that, I actually wanted her to backflip. Yeah, no. You can't backflip to chase your beer either. <laughs> Not with Bancrofts. Not with Bancrofts. Uh, yeah, let's just push these minions. I won't get much damage because she killed my minions, but oh well. about as much damage as I'm comfortable getting. Now, if she had beads up and she backflipped to chase me, that would be different. Then I think it would be worth. And maybe she... I don't think she did. Maybe she did. I'm really bad at remembering when someone uh, uses their beads or not. Look at all this stuff I have. We basically have the Librarian build. We've got three books. I have 640 power. Keep in mind that's including the 80 power from Book Thoth. When it evolves, I want you guys to look at my power and see how much I get from the, uh, the increased 6%. It's actually really nutty. So 644. Okay, one more stack. Come on, we gotta find something to kill. 649. <clears throat> Let's bait the escape. There it is. There's the beats. 720. <laughs> that's a lot of power from just going getting that extra six percent. And again, that's on top of the 80 from Book of Thoth. So you can you can tell Book of Thoth's give me a lot of damage. Let's try to end this to the way of killing. The way of death, if you will. Alright, we'll just kill the Titan. Never mind. Try to kill her, but... You know, I actually tried to set myself up there so that I would alt and she would backflip into the alt and fountain, but uh, it didn't work out. And Phoenix is coming out up, so it's just like, nah, I gotta end it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you skip bans for whatever reason, I will pick you, Mir. I wasn't expecting Neath, but hey, he's still pretty good. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the game, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, buddy.